I welcome everyone to this service this morning. And we have gotten to the point of sharing the word of God. Amen. Amen. I have titled my message. The abundant grace of God will locate you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The abundant grace of God will locate you at anywhere you find yourself today. Amen. Are you there? The abundant grace of God is coming towards your life. Someone received that on this morning. The passage I read to you is speaking about the first king of Israel. So, father was called Kish. So, for father, Kish. He called his son one day. He said, get up this morning. About four Nidia. Take one of the servants in the house. So and go around and look for my donkeys that went out and never returned. This week. Whatever that is missing your life, God is bringing them back in Jesus' name. I said, God is bringing back whatever you are missing. Amen. Amen. So Saul so took one of the servants in the house and they started walking. Bible said they went to the hill country, they didn't find the donkeys. Uh, uh, they went to a place called Sha Shalisha. They didn't find the donkeys. We went to a place called Shalem. They didn't find the donkeys. They passed through the territory called Benjamin. They didn't find the donkeys. When divine power of God comes upon you. The abundant grace of God will begin to operate in your life. The abundant grace of God will locate you wherever you find yourself. And whatever is your struggling will seize in Jesus' name. You will never struggle anymore. Are you there? Yeah. From today, so I prophesy to somebody's life that may the abundant grace of God take over your life and remove struggling out of your life. Whatever you want to do, you are struggling. And life is becoming more tougher than necessary. But by the power of Holy Spirit, the abundant grace of Jesus will take over your entire life. And spreading in your life will come to an end. I speak to your spirit this morning, and I speak to your soul this morning, and I speak to your body this morning. But they didn't find the donkeys. Are you there? So they go to a place after three days walking around. What the they said they would go back home. But the servant that was walking with Saul said something. He told Saul so, that Saul so, in the next town there is a prophet. There's a man of God in that town. What the man he says, come to pass. And in the next town, there is a prophet. What the man he says, come to pass. And in the next town, there is a prophet. What the man he says, 
your life people who are greater than you will begin to serve you may people from outside serve you may dollar comes into your life May power sterling come into your life. May Ghana city bow down to you. Someone receive that one right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. I see God pouring blessings upon people's lives this morning. I see the angels of God raining blessings upon people's lives. Receive your portion right now. A breakthrough is coming to your life. Progress is coming to your life. Success is coming to your life. Victory is coming to your life. By the power of the Holy Spirit. The name of the Lord shall be glorified in your life. You shall not go down. But you shall be lifted up. In Jesus' name. Amen. Neto wadela, neto bewo wabara, epa menu bebe, machela. Bebe neto wadela, neto bewo wabara, epa menu bebe, machela.
before you go. So when the boy is ready and about to go, which was the following morning, Bible said the prophet took a child of all. Then he poured on Saul's head. After pouring the olive oil on his head, then he kissed him by the cheek. Then he said to him, Has not the Lord anointed you ruler over his inheritance? For today, when you leave me, as you are going, you get to the place called Zosa. Near Rahas tomb. Then you meet two men. I don't go with you ever. They will tell you the donkey you are looking for has been found. What the number a teji teji me no la la what me? This week, we are going to test the abundant grace of God in our life. We are going to test the power of God in our life. That this week there must be the good news in the life of everyone in this house. Mark it down from today. Throughout the week, the good news from somewhere will counter us a bad news that the enemy will send into your life.
fold your mat. He bent down. He started folding his mat. All the people around. They were watching him. There were other sick people. Who were also lying by the pool. But I must be say Jesus healed them. He was concerned of only that man. This morning, may Jesus be concerned about your life. May the angels of God be concerned about your life. Right now, as I speak to you, something is happening right now. As you hear the sound of my voice, may the power move towards you right now. But I'm not to the right of the doors from the ground of your head to the sole of your feet. The fire reach you right now. We see your healing in the name of Jesus. The moon falling is my heart. Divine location. <laughs> Are you there? Are you there? Abandoned Christ King. So now he folded his own hands. Carried it on his head. He started walking. Not the Lord, he started singing a song. Abbe, 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 Now, oh, my God. Jesus came from somewhere. Yes, Christ of 
Come on, 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 come on,